You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. Classic Retro Me TV game, or just PlayStation 1, a rip off. Yes, people, they ripped it off again. They still keep making mini consoles with, I'm guessing, 8 bit games. There's no information about it on the box itself. But it got 620 games. Hmm. Now let's, let's see what we're going to get. Yeah. Ooh. All right, indeed, we're getting two controllers. So they are using the controller colors of the original SNES Mini. Let's open it up for the people who like it. Oh yeah, satisfaction. Hmm, okay, they are exactly the same molds that they are using with all of these 8-bit systems. Only this one has just a USB connection. Uh, let's see, we're having... Aha, an USB 5 volt power adapter. We're going to get. What are we going to get? So I was wondering who to click this button, reset. So I'm guessing. Re no, this is the reset button. So what is this? So we have a power, reset, but. Okay, that is some weird shit. Hmm, let's grab the original. I'm very curious how is the mold. Hmm. It's not a one-on-one -on -one copy. Let's talk about the third button. So I was thinking, okay, original one swaps disc. But this one doesn't do anything at all. That is next level of cheap systems. Yeah. All right, let's take a close look at the menu. Uh, okay, I put it in controller port one, but I'm guessing you need controller port two. Yep, oh, it is a very long time that happened. The buttons are freaking horrible on this thing. Rubbery buttons. Oh man, these things are chemical. Let's see what we have more. This is more like, yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly the same collection of what we can find very often. I, I have noticed that this menu is very familiar. I've seen it on some portable system, but it has a lot of naughty games. So this is what we're going to get with this. It's just all the same 8-bit stuff again. And for the people who are new to the channel or new to the product, it's more like some licensed games and a lot of hack games and a lot of homebrew or crappy games. And I am not surprised if it's not 620 games that are, let's say the last couple of pages are just double repeats. Because in this year, yeah, they're still repeating the freaking games. Yeah, it's unbelievable, but they will never learn. Oh, here we can see already turtles again. I need to press the button very hard on the D-pad. All right. The game seems to be running fine. Oh, anyway. <laughs> this is basically unplayable, man. Oh my. Ooh, the colors are not like it should be, but I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Well, so if you need to move one direction, that's not a big problem, but... For the final conclusion, and to be honest, I was already expecting 8-bit games. Uh, they are still making these clones and they stepped from NES to Super NES clones and now we're having PlayStation Mini clones with exactly the same collection and exactly the same freaking... 